Number three, baby! Woo! Don't let anybody use your art. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But anyways, what is up, comrades? And welcome to the Sour Taste of Lemony Friendships, the third of the 12, 12 shits of shitsmas mods, bro. Number three, bro. But anyways, yeah, I hate this image right here, bro. But anyways, let's get into it. The enamel on my teeth slowly dries and melts into my palate. At first, I don't feel anything. Not a burning sensation, not an overwhelming sweetness, not even a sourness that collapses my mouth into itself. The lemon just gets sucked away. Scared of nothing. Bleah! Kill. I stare at the crystal clear skies and wonder why everything around me is content. The bridge itself stands strong in spite of the stormy weather that plagued the past couple of months. Ah, nothing like leaning on a bridge. A car's speed along like car crashes didn't happen every single minute of every single day. The waves casually stroll through the calm ocean, not knowing there will one day be a tsunami. Yet, here I am, staring out at a world that's happy to keep going while I'm stuck. Am I building to something big and dramatic? Nah, you're just fucking edgy. Something life-changing and horrific? Nah, you're just an edgy boy. Something staining and unforgettable? Nope. Just something that would have made this whole thing worthwhile. Probably not. An ending? Yes. Is that why I'm scared? I'm scared that things will end well, I mean, within never ended. <laughs> That's not why I'm scared. That's not what it is. At all. Hide behind it. He invited me over just to talk the other day. It was the first time he extended an olive branch like that. Every time we meet up in the past three months, I have no idea who's saying this. I'm just going generic female voice. He's been quick to mack on my lips to stop me from talking. It's not like I minded that, honestly. It seems that guys nowadays are like way too into their emotions. It's always, I feel this way, I feel that way. Not like there's anything wrong with that. It's just, why do you care so much about your feelings if it never changes how you act? I know, I know, that's really harsh, but I am a woman, so I am used to being harsh. How often am I supposed to react when each guy I go out with talks about the same damn mommy issues? Really? It's always about mommy didn't hug me enough, or mommy didn't say she's proud of me enough. Will you be my mommy, my dummy mommy? Mommy, 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 milkies! Let me squeeze those mommy milkies, sucky, sucky, sucky. I gotta admit, a guy calling me mommy would be pretty hot. Yes, she's a hoe! Before I could think about that more, a ping from my phone grabs my attention. It's him. Asking if he can talk again and to bring the usual. Talk about what? Probably has friends pushed him out or something, I don't know. Just something stupid that isn't worthwhile. But based? God, I miss when you're just mac on my lips. I can fly, but you can either dick and balls. Bro, is, there, is this whole mod just one of those fucking cinematic mods that is just fucking retarded? Pointless, even? Like, it, it doesn't really even tell a story, it's just kind of, you know, there for the fucking visuals. Hey, yeah. I don't really know why I'm standing out here. I have things to do, don't I? Yeah, I'm feeling this probably gonna be like 40 minutes of nothing. A pretty, a pretty bird flaps its tiny wings through the sky. I envy the precision in which it enacts its freedom. It soars and dives, all to its will. It chooses to perch itself on the railing next to me. I look at the petite bird and stammer out the first question that comes to mind. Where are your friends, little guy? It chirps tickle a smile out of my heart and soul. I reach my fingers to its puffy chest, hoping to return the tickle. 
but it flies away from me. The wind mockings, mockingly sings a mournful melody. But damn, I just realized this music is a little bit on the loud side. Yeah, that's a bit better. Annoyed, I pull my phone out of my pocket. She's seen the text. Whether she comes or not, it's now up to her. I feel bad for taking advantage of her company. What else am I supposed to do? I've got nobody rooting for me anymore, so I have to work with what I have. I'm going back at the war zone. See you later, comrade. Alright, see you later. Ah, it's nice having you here, man. But, hey. I think I'd rather play Warzone than <laughs> fucking watch someone play Toki Toki within for crying out loud. The fact you sat through all of that, man, that's, that's absolutely crazy, man. I commend you for it. While looking at my texting app, I'm tempted to scroll down farther. But breaking old memories out of the cage doesn't seem particularly smart of me. So instead, I pull out the key and make sure the cage is locked. And keep it right where I see it. Now I can see it very clearly from here. It's like a wisp begging to be recognized. It looks at me from a distance that wasn't there before. I look back at it full of shame. Nothing is enough. I throw the lemon in the air and tightly grab it once it lands in my palm. I keep on doing the same thing while I walk down the sidewalk towards our usual rendezvous. When I was at the store, I passed by some condoms. Maybe I should have brought some. Eh, but also, he probably only wants to talk. Buying condoms will create this expectation that he has to fuck me and I don't want to burden him with that. She's a hoe! Imagine that, I'm burdening him with having sex with me? With me? I'm bodacious, I'm beautiful, and somehow having sex with me is a burden? <laughs> Let us pray the pimp's prayer. Lord, please pray for the soul of this bitch and guide my pimp hand and make it strong, Lord, so that she might learn a hoe's place. Amen. Why am I even going there in the first place? I'm just a twitch thought, bruh. I guess he trusts me. That's gotta be worth something. Unless he's cute. Sometimes that's enough. All I do is whine. <laughs> emo boy, emo boy. The sound of silence is disrupted by the sound of footsteps. I turn around and I can't help but grow a smile. Hey, Miyuku. Yo. Nice, nice shoes. She throws a lemon in my face. The juices spill out of its hard shell and sear my eyes. Base? I rather than pain for half a minute. Thankfully, I still caught the lemon in my hand. Thanks. I really like this pair. Very sentimental. What the fuck was that for, you dumb bitch? Why the hell did you make me buy you lemons, jackass? I like lemons. Sue me. Sue you? I'd rather just throw it at you. You suck. I'd love to. I rub the juices out of my eye, but I'm left with a stinging burn. Sorry, Miyuku, even though you just assaulted me. I'm just not in the mood. Yeah, it's all tight. What's going on with you? Uh, you know, just the usual mess. I'm, at, I'm by a bridge. You can probably guess what this is adding. Your friends on your mind? They're not really my friends anymore. Also, that's not what I have on my mind. I have Minecraft on my mind. I wake up in the morning, I got Minecraft on my mind. Join a couple servers playing Sky Wars till I die, and all these newbies killing me with diamond sword of sharpness. Cut that bitch off! I keep twiddling with the le leaking lip. My sticky hand lets go of it and falls onto the rail. So I hear. Then. Can I talk about it? It's not like I have anything better to do. I can see the sarcasm drenching her every word. I don't actually have anything better to do. That had much less sarcasm. 
Just tell me, will you? Sure, random girl I've never seen before in my entire life. So, uh, did I already tell you how me and my friends met? Nope, you were surprisingly vague on details. Well, it basically all started when I published a few poems online. Wait, wait, poems? You did poetry? For fun? Yeah, I'm a little sad boy who likes to do sad boy things, and I also like to put on the skirt and do the twirly twirl, and I'm now a she they. You said it, not me. Anyway, it caught the attention of a club at school. When they saw it, and they showered me with praise I just wasn't used to. And then you fall into their palm to the palm of their hands cause you want more of it, right? Roll the lemon from one end of my palm to the other, letting your citrusy fluids make a mess. Yeah. I hope that they were just genuinely nice too. Made me feel like I found my people. I've been there. You have? She taps on her lemon over and over again. Yep. You think you're wait. What, Lemon? What the fuck? We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Bruh, I'm being gaslit right now. No. I just thought no one would be friends with you. That's mean. No snarky reply? No, that's just mean. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to be funny. It's all right, just keep talking. Well, they invited me in and over the course of half a year, they, j they became a group of the closest friends I ever had. Some of them may have not rubbed me in the right way, but they listened to me. Talking to them was in some weird game of power plays and deciphering intent. We just talk. Weird game of power plays? Bro, what, what are you even talking about? knocks on my head and laughs at the hollow thunk that follows. You don't notice it when some people talk to each other. I don't look at things like that. It doesn't matter really. I'm just an edgy boy who does edgy things. Just kind of get that we were honest. Being honest with others, with all the shit that comes with that, that feeling is pretty intoxicating. I'd spent the brunt of my days texting them, talking to them, working on poetry with them. <sighs> Dude, stop snoring. <sighs> Seriously, I don't appreciate it. <sighs> Cacking bile torture. If you don't want to be here, then you can just go. Don't need to mock me and how I feel. Mocking you? Grow up, boy. She throws her lemon straight in my face. I catch it before I'm burned by it. You remember the good times and stuff. But you're letting the rose tinted glasses taint how you see the past. And how much would you know that and how would you know that, Miyuki? The way you're talking, it's obvious. The grip I have on the lemon loosens. My fingers uncover a small patch on it. The patch is checkered throughout the lemon's lower side. Slime green rots is spreading through the lemon. But I have a thought for a moment. Is the lemon rotting or is it ripening? We talk a lot and I liked it. That's the bottom line truth. I toss the lemon her way and she lets it casually roll on the dirty concrete. She squats down by the railing and aimlessly gazes at the lemon as it comes to a stop. They were my friends. I shared with them parts of me that were deeply personal. Are you sure my breast can entice you enough to not think about it? <laughs> I squat down beside her, gripping my own lemon tightly. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm kind of like little less than Monica tier, to be honest. I'm just saying. It's facts! It's facts! These are not facts. These sizes are not facts. What do you think I've been doing for the past three months? <laughs> At least I know I'm good for exactly three months. 
It's a good piece of info to put on the tin. No, no. You're cool, Miyuki. Wow, what every girl wants to hear. Seriously, Miyuki? You're cool. You're so cool that I'm sharing this with you. I figured. I you come to this bridge, Stalin? Because I like leaning on it, that's why. Hmm. Yeah, I like it here. It's got a nice view. Are you sure you weren't planning on jumping? Maybe. What? I can only manage a confused grin, but the way she's looking at me, it scares me. Holy shit. It's such a scary look. I've never seen Yuki like this. No, no. I wouldn't. Just because of some lost friendship? Make new friends, it's easy. Oh. No, oh, it's just the feelings are still here and I want to bend it out. Yeah, no, that makes sense. You're a sensitive damn, I just thought. I let go of the lemon in my hand, letting it roll to Miyuki's lemon. With my free hand, I softly reach for hers. She doesn't look at me, but she accepts my outreach and holds my hand. Is there something you need to vent out? Nah. I don't have anything to share. I can see that you do. Let's just hear your thing first. What happened to you and your friends that broke you up? Our lemons lean on each other. I like a small remnant of juice that was stuck to my finger. I was going through a rough patch which led me to really re-examine my life under a lens. The people I surrounded myself with, the actions I took, I thought to myself, why am I okay with these people? What do they even do? It's small things. Pertinent, omnipresent things. I mean, I'm not a good person. Far from it. I'd like to think I'm at least self-contained. You're just speaking gibberish. I know, I know, but I'm trying to verbalize here. Look, we worked on poetry, right? Yeah. Well, I take it with a modicum of seriousness. Went out of my way to study certain structures, meters, word choices. I prided myself on my proficiency. Still amateur, but you can feel the care I've put into making something good. And maybe that made me ever so slightly sensitive to the quality of others' work. Sensitive how? Blunt, unfiltered. Dickish. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, one of those. Worst part? I would never take it back. No regrets, huh? Is that why you're take it, talking about it right now? No, you don't get it. This... This part of me. It's disagreeable at times. That doesn't mean I wouldn't praise their work openly if it made me feel like it's worthy of praising. Like, one of them? Her name was Yuri. She made these spectacular poems that were both layered with meaning and technically impressive. And also, I'm literally a Yuri simp in this mod. And I would sing her praises so loud the heavens parted and God could hear my call. I wasn't just a dig. I was honest. It's poetry, dude. What? It's just poetry. An expression of yourself. Why are you putting objective value on it? Because I spent a lot of time trying to know the ins and outs. I wanted to share that with others. Learn and grow with someone else. Instead, I was ostracized. One of them, I was the closest to her. Her name was Monica. Monica. She seemed unbreakable at first, and I saw the cracks form in the shield. It was the little flinches and the reactions she had to even the smallest comments. I realized the unbreakable Monica was actually quite fragile. <laughs> wow, really? Ain't like we just spent 20 hours figuring that out. Yet, fragile as she is, she latched onto my manner of consumption and critique. It made us feel like partners in crime. Until, well... I re-examined the things we worked on together. 
Her interest stopped aligning as I turned to on the thing as I turned on the things we made. And well, she was never that good at poetry either. By sharing ideas with her, she engaged with them, but her execution? Louis. And eventually, my probing attitude drove her crazy. Miki's face reeks of disapproval. Of all the things I thought you were, I never thought you were a bitch. Yes, you did. Okay, maybe a little bit. But why the fuck does all of that even matter? So what? They didn't take poetry criticism well. That doesn't make them any worse of a person. No, no, it doesn't. Then what? You tell me you've been brooding for the past week because of your own mistakes? This isn't brooding. I'm not upset. She shoots up straight. The sheer strength of the jump pushes my limit away from hers. I look up at her while the fumes smoke out of her orifices. And what the fuck is this? I'm being introspective. What the fuck are you being introspective about? Oh, I'm a cock muncher and now I won't let the dumb bitch that sucked my cock do what she wants to do. Because... You think you're better than me at cock munching. Is that what I'm getting at from this? Her anger leaks to the ground around us like fallout. Yet, in her toxic radiation, I can't help but smile. Man, you're a certified jack-off. You know why? Because that's all you're going to be doing from now on. Jacking off that tiny little nub dig, bruh! Absolute savage! Woo! <laughs> I can't contain my hysterical laughter. Fuck off! Dude, why are you losing your mind? Fuck you! Jeez, man, relax. Get me that fed up. Of course not, dumbass! Why, you think you're the only one who does this casual sex thing to stop thinking about something? No, I never thought that, you know. Yuki does something I never thought her calm demeanor would let her do. Storm off. In my own arrogance, I stand back up and run after her. With my th flurry of steps, I pay no mind to the lemming I step on. Juices explode and splatter on both of our shoes. Miyuki's disgust reaches a terrifying high. Fuck! You got my shoes all sticky. Oh please! Don't act like you don't like it when you get when I get you stuff sticky. I hear red. The dent in my cheek burns like a pulsating pool of magma. Magma? Is that a reference to the DDLC former DDLC modder? Bruh! The creator of Hole in the Head, uh, the deepest mod, and Sayuri fucks up. Bruh! Miyuki's glare is one of fearful shock. I skate down a valley of emotions, finally landing on the one that feels right. Or maybe it was just the one that gravity forced me to stop at. Well, why the fuck did you slap me, bro? Why the fuck did you slap me, bro? <laughs> I don't know, you said something awful. I said the truth. Aren't you always like, OMG, stop. Dude, all of my, fuck off, fuck off. Just stop. Oh my, stop it. You slapped me, dude. You're disgusting. You slapped me. You're awful. You slapped me. I get it. I slapped you. Oh, you got a small little boo boo. Oh my gosh. Let me guess though. You don't feel awful about it. What? Is that what this is about? What do you care about how I feel about people you don't know? Because I thought you were better than me. You thought your dildo was better than that? You weren't just a dildo, man. What does that mean? Realization uppercuts me. Oh, yeah. You were a vibrator. Oh, I get it now. 
Yo! So... Dude, I'm not into pillow talk. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Good. That was my first time, you know, bro. Made me out to be a fucking Giga Chad, bro. I, hey, I like the use of Chad, MC, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Really, su really suits me perfectly. I can tell. Sorry. So, uh, what's your name? No. Come on, just your name. No. I'm not asking for any more. I sigh. Miyuki. Everything's hard when you care. <laughs> Don't spend too much time in the shower, yeah? I wanna sleep. Well, I'm aware of the schedule, Miyuki. You better be. He steps out of the bathroom, dripping wet. Damn, fuck yes. Oh, God, that's like fucking six pack on that shit, bro. Oh my God, I'm just saying. If I was to ever be gay, this would- this is the ideal man I'd fuck. Hold on, pause. That and Luka Doncic. Atalus draped- Atalus draped over his waist and it's just such a turn on seeing the droplets fall in through the- through his gutters. I'm totally turned off about how insecure his walk is, like damn. He may be built like a Giga Chad, but he doesn't act like one. Like, what is that terrible slouch? Ah. Hey, Miyuki. Hmm. Who's this? He holds up a picture in front of me and... 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 <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, are you crying? Did I say something or... No. Huh? No, not that. No, no, no to that. No to what? Dildos don't ask questions like that. Whoa, who the fuck you call a dildo? Ew. I'm not. Okay, maybe I am. Okay, boundary acknowledged. Sorry for asking. Yeah. You better be. You ain't get right, you ain't gonna be my little pay pig. You keep doing that. Wow. Yeah, whoa. I didn't know you had it in you. Thanks. Yeah. So, wanna go for another round? Sure, just let me recharge, okay, bro? Hold up, bro. Yeah, you should see him on my back. Uh, there should be a panel that you have to unscrew. Yeah, once you unscrew that, there should be a charging port. Um, just go take the charger, plug it in there. I should be ready in about 30 minutes. Okay. Take your time, stud. Take my phone and start scrolling through my notifications. Seeing a text from Stalin that I must have missed, I replied to it to give him a laugh. I like seeing the guy smile from time to time. It's cute. His phone pings. Instead of reaching for it, he seems paralyzed. I'm confused for a moment, but then he picks it up. His tense look evaporates and he starts laughing. It looks more like he's laughing out of relief. What's this guy have to be scared of? Oh man, he's a player. Whatever, it's not like it's my problem. I scrolled through the app until I hit my dead zone. I'm surprised it's still here. Single chat I never want to see again. Breaking old memories out of their cage doesn't seem particularly smart of me. So instead, I pull out the key and make sure the cage is locked. And throw the cage over the ocean where hopefully the thought drowns. That was... That was pretty funny. Got a good laugh out of me. Yeah. You know, you could be so cute, Miu. Never call me Miu. Why, you got a problem with nicknames? Are you too tough for them? Don't call me that. Why not, Miu? Don't. Yuki? I know dildos aren't supposed to have personality and all that, but I've been wondering. Is there something you might want to talk about? No. I have stuff too, you know. We all have skeletons in our closet. You don't need to be afraid of judgment or... 
No. Bro. I mean, you could look in the closet. Yeah. There's no skeletons in my closet. You can literally go look right now. Okay. Sorry. Digging walls. For some reason, that turned me on. I might have a shame fetish. What the fuck? Hmm. So... Want to go for another round? Good night, Stalin. Oh. Okay. Good night. L plus ratio. Get fucked. I... I didn't know. That's fine. Just wanted you to be better than that. Why? Would I be better than that? I don't know. Seemed like a nice guy. I guess I wanted you to be nice. Like the idea that the guy I let fuck me would, wouldn't would fuck me. What does that even mean? God, and here I uh, thought you would be, wouldn't be as sensitive as all the other girls I talked to. But look at you now. Sensitive? You're calling me sensitive? Says the guy who was crying about his friends leaving him because he was acting like an asshole. He didn't leave me and I wasn't crying. Bro, who are you? Why are you lying? I'm not. I swear, I am not lying. Why would you think that I am? She stares at me from a distance. Wind flow, wind's flow picks up and the lemons roll across the ground. It lands at her feet and it sticks to her lemon juice covered shoe before unsticking and rolling off. Ah, my shoes. Don't try to change the subject. They had sentimental value. What, did your mom buy them for you? No, it's... It's... It's okay. Look, man, I can barely take it with this hiding my secret trauma stuff. Either you want to talk about it with me or not. You get, is there something that happened to you that you may want to talk about? No, not really. Then you can't expect me to be some saint. I don't have some emotional responsibility to you. Why are you offended by how I feel about my own relationships? I don't know. Her drooping eyebrows meld with her reddened eyes overlaid by her messy hair flowing in the wind. Vulnerability seeps out of her poor skin in almost gross display. Attraction melts into confusion and is hammered into awareness. This compared to the second ship this mod was really fucking long. Yeah, the second one was literally like five minutes long. This is probably a, almost an hour. You do know. But you'd rather judge your human dildo than let him judge you. Am I right? You're right. You're absolutely right. Good. Glad we got that settled. Yeah. Sorry for freaking out. You should be sorry for slapping me. That's what I meant. Apology accepted then. Okay. As the tensions link away just out of view, Yuki heads back to the railing. She grabs the four lemon on her way to use it as a pseudo stress ball. Responding to her invitation, I join her by the railing. However, I remain standing. So, what happened after you drove that Monica girl crazy? Well, more important things. You are a complete jackass. Oh. Where do you get off constantly disrespecting me like that? I stood by you no matter what. I was a good friend to you. When the other girls tried to dismiss you, I supported you. When Sire is burdening you with the weight of all her emotions, I helped you carry that. I'm really sorry you feel that way, Monty. But this isn't about our friendship. Then what is it about? Um, I... Well, it's just... I'm struggling to find a way to word it for a while because I knew you'd react like this, but... Oh, so now you feel like you have to walk around eggshells with me. When you're always so quick to lambast me. That's different. How? 
One's more friendly banter, and the other is more a harsh critique of the things you do. Things I do? Like my fucking poetry? Yeah, but also the general way you act. What's wrong with the way I act? The way you deflect responsibility onto others who never asked for it? Like you mentioned the Sayuri thing, but that was kind of your fault for throwing all the interpersonal club relations out to her. You knew she wasn't mentally well, and when I pointed that out to you, you said, Depression isn't real. You can't keep getting away with it! You can't keep getting away with it! Boom. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's just you won't give me credit for my great poetry, and I don't think that's particularly fair. Well, at least Monica's still a cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but your freeform poetry just isn't that good. <laughs> I would even dare to say that it's complete dog shit. And I would even go even further to say that you should burn it all right now. As a matter of fact, I'll go even even further to say... Don't even think about writing anymore. You know what? Just put the pen down, throw all the pens away, burn all your notebooks as well. You know what? Don't even look at another piece of paper at any point in your rest of your life. All right? That way, we won't even have to worry about you potentially writing another poem that could that the world would be forced to, you know, look at and experience and suffer through. All right? Get owned. Get roasted. Fuck you. I spent a lot of time doing poetry. Almost my entire life. You know what? I can say your poetry is bad too. How would you feel about that? But you wouldn't say that. And why is that? Because I'm better than you. <laughs> oh! Oh! Get fucking owned! Monica's about to explode in three, two... One. <laughs> Clearing it up. Dude, did she really say that? By the way, what the fuck did she actually say? You motherfuck! <laughs> yup, she said in a conversation we had almost six months ago. And I can't help but acknowledge it as a moment my respect for her swan dived. Jeez, now that I see, now I see why you were such a bitch to her. Don't paint it as if my bitchery was some kind of moral crusade. I was gonna be a bitch to her either way. It's more that she deserved it. And why do you need to vent about it then? Why are you so emotionally weird about it? I took a seat next to Miyuki. I wasn't lying when I said they were one of the best friends I've ever had. And yet, when they're gone when they were gone, I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel angry even. And now, thinking to myself, were they right to reject me? Were they right about me? Were they, even with their dubious morals, better people than me? And Miyuki? I don't know the answer. It's really starting to freak me out. Miyuki squeezes the lemon in her pulse in a pulse-like pattern until she finally hands it to me. She stands back up and looks out to the sea. I stand next to her. Okay. I know I've been dodgy with you. But I could talk about what's been eating at me. Really? Really? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, Stalin, I'm sure, but don't have a heart attack. I'd love to hear it. Oh, fuck you and your sarcasm. Well, here goes. Go to the... Why? Why? No, go to the... Oh, just die already!
Why are you everywhere? <laughs> no, that should only apply to the, uh, to within. No, I'm not... <laughs> uh, God, chill out, it's only a PNG. <laughs> you know, you know the pain and the anguish this one PNG has cost me. It's cost me six months of dirt thief. Do you, do you even know the trauma, the pain I've endured, and the fucking headache? That is six months of dirt thief. All because of this one hoe. Not only that, this hoe was created by a fucking pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I'm getting flashbacks to Emerald Heart again. <laughs> Can't wait to make a two hour long video about Dorothy. I, I am not touching Dorothy again with a 39 and a half foot pole. Dorothy can go fuck himself for all I care. Just get through it. Just get through it, Stella. It's just a PNG. It cannot hurt you. Wasn't that movie amazing, Miyuki? Not really. I'm not a big fan of comedy stuff. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, good old Koda Noah. No, but one bitch that no one wants to be around. That and Monica. Your title was like that when you'd hear from an old RPG game. I just had to stand there and take it. Dude, dude had a mental breakdown over someone ruining his RP. The <laughs> dude has a that's a fucking mental breakdown over the most slightest, most insignificant shit ever. And I will never understand it. He always thinks that um the world is out to get him. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> you can you cannot be, think of yourself so highly. Like, he has such a massive ego, but at the same time, ha like, self deprecates himself all the fucking time. It's a weird fucking paradox. He thinks of himself so highly that he thinks the entire world is out to get him, but also thinks so little about himself that he says he's gonna kill himself anytime. You know, he has one of those freaking panic attacks because he thinks the world is out to get him. There's a reason I call it the Dirt Thief Cycle. And honestly, I'm sick of seeing it. I'm just like, dude, just get off the internet. Like, seriously, it'd be for the best. You know, Miyuki, you're the best. Ah, thanks. She'd fling positives and compliments like there was no tomorrow. That's why we became friends in the first place. She made me feel appreciated. Over time, I knew she didn't give a shit about anybody. The she threw people out of her life was like it was nothing. She always acted like every any everybody else wronged her and she was always in the right. Like been quite a few people like that. <laughs> so how's your brother, Miyu? They're recovering from your guys' breakup. Well, I hope he hasn't made it hard for himself. He cries every day. And that's why I broke up with him. I mean, of course you know him more than I do. But you can't tell me he isn't a sensitive little crybaby. He was weighing me down like an anchor and now I'm a free bird, soaring and diving at my whims. <laughs> bro, Kona Noah is literally just Monica 2.0, bro. Okay, Kono. Are you uncomfortable? Are you uncomfortable with me talking about your brother like this? What do you think? I guess it would be kind of weird. I have to vent my emotions sometimes, you understand that. Right, Mew? Wow, she seems like a colossal bitch. I hated her, Stalin. Hated her so much. Then why didn't you cut her off? The only fuck dirt theme dating is canon in this mod. 
<laughs> so they were just talking about Dirt Thief the entire time. <laughs> oh, Coder to the hospital, bro? I didn't know this, but apparently she was struggling emotionally. And well, look, Coder and Noah, we need to talk. Hmm? I'm starting to get really tired of how you're acting. You treat me like I'm awful, even though I've done nothing but be supportive. Mm-hmm. I think... I think we shouldn't be... What the f... Who the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> she just jumped in front. Ah, uh, she just. Ah, uh, Truck Coon got her? Hell yeah. Let's go. Yep. Truck Coon's the best, am I right? Is she. Surprisingly? No. <laughs> She's not dead. Fuck me. No. No. Just paralyzed. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good. Whoa, so she's not dead, but she's a vegetable. That might be even worse. I suppose going through something like that would leave you scarred. Worst part is that she got away with treating everyone like shit. She was emotionally tortured. She's paralyzed. We have to empathize? What a load of shit. I'm supposed to empathize with her when she dragged me through the mud for years? She emotionally abused my brother, Dirt Thief? And in the end, she got away with it. Every time she texts me or talks to me, I have to put up a facade of kindness. While she settles back into her old habits. She's even back with my brother, forcing him to simp for her. <laughs> it really is Dirt Thief. Oh my gosh. At least this time, she's in a wheelchair. Jeez. Is that why you've been, you know, with me? You've been, you have been a very convenient to use to ditch her whenever she asked me to attend one of her physical therapy sessions. I let the sentence linger for a moment. I'm struggling to make heads or tails of it. And the two words leave my mouth. That sounds kind of shitty. I know. She must have been really shitty to you if that's the case. What? I mean, you strike me as a relatively okay person. So if you were to act that way, you must have had a good reason. Yeah, she was really shitty to me. I figured. That's it? That's all it takes? I think so. How does this mod have anything to do with lemons? She threw a lemon at him? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I, I, I really don't fucking know. I think so. You just a accept I feel the way I feel, even if it seems shitty? I'd expect the same from you. It's for understanding. Even if I didn't give you much context to go off of. But be honest, there's no way you think I'm a good person. Okay, I'm gonna go write my vid, so I'm glad... I'm so glad you're done with, with it. Also, I'm also gl so glad I played it while sleep deprived. Yeah. Alright, see ya, Hoopla. I've treated you like crap this entire time. Why would you... Contrary to my story, I'm not actually all that judgmental. Everybody has their reason to act the way they do. And I'm in no position to declare what is right and what is wrong. Plus, when I asked for a shoulder to think on, you answered. Even if you were a bit of a bitch about it. You deserved it, dildo. She snatches the lemon from my hand and starts throwing it in the air. Like, seriously, who has a beautiful babe who's willing to spread her legs for you to get them lemons? 
I let the lemon land safely on our palm and then I reach for it. A person who's hurting. I reach for her hand and, and keep it safe between both of my own. And I guess the lemons are for both of us, huh? Yeah. I asked for two because I wanted one for each of us. You can just cut this one in half and share it. There's no reason to eat a whole lemon alone. We can do that. You can take the lemon and with only the strength of her grip, splits it in half. Damn, shoddy! She hands one and a half to me and takes one for herself. Before we get caught up in sucking these lemons, I have to ask. Am I like your friend? Is that why you got so mad at me? What did you do to your club? What you did, what you did to your club had shades of what she did to me. At least you didn't prioritize your own feelings over mine. Well, that's when I needed a shoulder to think on. You offered, so I trust you at least a bit better. Thanks. Just don't show me your poems, or you might be disappointed in me. Oh please, even if even I know it was never about the poems. Miss Depression isn't real. I wouldn't say something like that to Kodanoa. My half of a lemon glimmers in the sunlight. Yeah. Hey, Stalin. Hmm. You're a good person to me. You two. We both bind into our half of the lemon. Now when my tea slowly dries and melts into my palate. First, I didn't feel anything. Not a burning sensation, not an overwhelming sweetness. Not even a sourness that collapses my mouth into itself. The lemon just gets sucked away. And that's okay. I don't have to feel something every time. Maybe now, when I feel something, it means that it actually matters. At least. That's what I think when I look at her. And uh, I'm awed by the various artists. Oh, Fit did the writing for this one. Oh, yep, yeah, there's Flasium. Ah, eat a bag of dicks. That's what I was waiting to see. Jesus Christ, this was like, yeah, it was a bit on the longer side, but honestly, I mean, I've played longer mods. Every day, I pull up to the book club like I'm a fucking weeb.